Hello everybody, my name is William and welcome back to another Roblox Bee Swarm Simulator video where today I will be giving you tips and tricks. Well, not really tricks, just more like just a guide to getting gingerbread bears and snowflakes quickly. I want to start with gingerbread bears, which the easiest way to get gingerbread bears is by completing Mother Bear's Beastmas quest and getting this gingerbread house. Now what this gingerbread house does is every two playtime hours, not like out of game hours, like two in-game hours, like you have to play the game for two hours, you will get one gingerbread bear from here. But if you don't collect it, it will stack. It will stack, right? Yeah, it will stack instead of like the wealth clock where it just keeps one and you got to go pick it up every hour. This one, every two hours, you can just, you, they just stack. So you can AFK overnight and then in the morning you can collect them all. So it's very good. So be sure to be sure to complete Mother Bear's quest. It is very useful. Another way of getting gingerbread bears. This is by far, I'd say, the easiest way of getting gingerbread. Well, no, the other one was easier, but you get the point. But it's defeating bosses. Like, the stump snail gives you 5 to 10 gingerbread bears. I think it's 5 to 10. I'm pretty sure it's 5 to 10. And also, defeating tunnel bear will give you a few gingerbread bears. I think it's 5 or 2. I don't remember. But I know that the, uh, the tunnel bear gives you some gingerbread bears. And the king beetle is another great way of getting gingerbread bears. I'm not sure, actually, if it drops any. Maybe. I think it does. I think it does. Just, it's quite rare. So I'd recommend getting a baby love token activated for that 50% extra loot luck and then defeating the king beetle. Now, coconut crab is another boss that you can defeat for a lot of gingerbread bears, actually. I think it's like 5 to 10 yet again. So yeah, defeating the coconut crab will give you quite a few gingerbread bears. Also, 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 completing the quests from all of the NPCs across the map will give you gingerbread bears. And the more quests for these bears that you complete, the more of these boxes you can open. So when you complete four quests, like four Beastmas quests from all the NPCs, you can open this box and it will give you a few gingerbread bears, which is really nice. Now, there are a bunch of boxes scattered across the map, as you can see. There are plenty. There are some hidden. There are some in plain sight. Another good way of getting gingerbread bears is coming down to Beastmas Bear and doing quests for him. I believe in entirety, like of his entire quest line so far, before on it updates, I think it's 27 or no, maybe it's 37 or 47. I don't know, but I think it's 27, which is still quite a bit. Also, defeating the werewolf, which is located behind the 15B zone, like the gate there, 15B gate zone, you can actually get gingerbread bears from this werewolf. Hopefully it'll drop some gingerbread bears and nope, no gingerbread bears for me this time. Now, here are some reasons why you might want Want gingerbread bears because there is a gingerbread cub bundle which can if you don't already own a cub buddy it will give you a cub buddy and the limited edition skin and it will give you a star tree but if you do already own the cub buddy it will give you a gingerbread cub skin and two star treats instead of an extra cub buddy because well you can't have multiple cub buddies can you so gingerbread bears are really simple and really easy to get all you need to do is complete quests from all the bears and just, you know, the gingerbread house, just etc. All the mobs and stuff. All that. Yep. And there's actually another way. And another way. But this way costs a bit of Robux. It's going to the shop and you can purchase a bunch of these packs. Now, here's something that most people seem to not know. If you have only $50 worth of Robux or 4,500 Robux, most people go down here and buy this. But if you specifically want gingerbread bears from these packs, buy all four of the cheaper ones. It's not only only 3,800 Robux, but else also, it gives you 85 gingerbread bears, and the regular Honey Day Mega Haul only gives you 50. So you get an extra amount of gingerbread bears if you buy all four of the cheaper packs. Also, you get a few more cool things like the reindeer, puppy antlers, but, 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 if you have enough to get all the packs, then just go ahead, buy all the packs if you want. But if you only want to spend $50, you want to just save the rest of your money, then go ahead and just get all four of the these packs, the cheaper packs. Now, moving on to snowflakes. Now, why do you want snowflakes exactly? Well, same reason why you want gingerbread bears for the bee bears catalog. Because as you can see, some of these items actually require some snowflakes, if not only snowflakes, like the snow globe bundle or the snow queen bundle. The snow queen bundle is actually really good because you get 50 glitter, which is really, really useful for either crafting the guards up there, like the little shoulder guards. See, I've got the red and the red and blue one, the bucko and Riley guard. No, these are the crimson and cobalt guard. Never mind, sorry. And also the gummy mask, gummy boots, etc. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Also, the tiara is actually really good. 
because as you can see, the snow tiara actually gives you some really good bonuses, such as these hive bonuses for blue for blue fields. These are really useful. Uh, use for you use for. Can I speak English? No, very useful, and they are very good for a blue hive. So be sure to get those. Also, pine cones are quite useful for blue hives. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Now, how do you get snowflakes? Well, it's like the simplest thing in the world. They fall from the sky, as you can see. Look, there's a little snowflake falling, and I can see it here, and I can catch it like that. Boom. One snowflake. Also, killing mobs, but rhino beetles and mantises and spiders specifically. Red mobs do not drop snowflake tokens. Only white and blue mobs. You like the, the rhino beetles here, they drop snowflakes. You, you can just go around the map and you can kill all these rhino beetles and you will get a ton of snowflakes. Well, not a ton, but you get what I'm saying. Like a bunch of snowflakes, just quite a few. Also, yet again, completing the NPC bears quests will actually give you some snowflakes too. Got a feeding mantises drop them too, which is really nice. Just all sorts of bosses and stuff drop them. I'm not sure if King Beetle does. Maybe? I'm pretty sure. Now, the easiest way to get snowflake tokens is by completing Bucko Bee's quest. Well, Gifted Bucko Bee, sorry. Gifted Bucko Bee's quest, and he will give you this. Look, isn't this epic? It's amazing. It's a cannon. It's a snow cannon. So with this, after completing his quest, you can go ahead and activate the snow machine, and a bunch of snowflakes will begin to fall into the field. See, look, there's one right there, and there's one over here, and they're all falling over there. I don't know why this field's so empty. But you get the point. The snowflake cannon is really useful. So if you have a bunch of friends who've completed the Bucko Bee quest, you can all, like use your cannon like every 20 minute intervals the cannon has a two hour cooldown though so if all of you if you have six people and they all use it like every 20 minutes then you should be set so yeah just every 20 minutes have someone use the cannon and you'll be able to get snowflakes really quickly in no time i'm not sure about the ant challenge i'm not sure if you actually really get anything for this year from the ant challenge maybe i don't think so I haven't tried it, so I don't know. I'm not sure about that. But really, yeah, that's about it. Really, <laughs> there's no, like, secret trick. It's just ways of getting them, really. There's no glitches. There's nothing like that, unfortunately. I wish there was. If there were, I would obviously be making a video on that. I did make a Mythic Bee glitch video, so if you want to watch that and get some Mythic Bees quickly, then go ahead and click on the card in the top right-hand corner of the screen now. It will take you to my video that I explain how to get Mythic Bees quickly. But anyways, with all this, out the way don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and i will see you all in the next roblox bee swarm simulator video or any video that i post i don't know or live stream i live stream on twitch so go ahead go in the description and uh yeah you can go ahead follow me there and i'll see you all later goodbye